immiserizing growth. What do you mean by immiserizing growth? Growth has happened, but because of the growth, welfare of the country has reduced. Growth, instead of making the country better off, it has made the country worse off. That is immiserizing growth. So it would have been better if the country would not have grown at all. That is immiserizing growth. What was expected in 1950s that you had two sets of countries. One is less developed countries and other is developed countries. In case of less developed countries, what was expected? That these countries are rich in raw materials, primary products, they will be exporting these things. So they will have sort of an export biased growth, right? They will have an export biased growth. Hmm? They will be exporting primary products. raw materials, etc. Hmm? They'll be doing this. It should not be a problem. Uh, least developed countries were expected that they would be having an export bias growth, right? They will be producing primary products, they'll be producing uh, raw materials more. So we have already seen, we have assumed that the relative demand curve is same. Hmm. The preferences are same. This is the relative supply curve for least developed countries. Let's say RS1. And with that, <clears throat> the relative price of the primary product is PP by PM. P is primary goods, M is manufactured goods. So this is PP by PM1. Now, when less developed countries, they're producing more of primary products, then the relative supply curve is going to shift outwards. Okay. A relative supply curve is going to shift outwards. And when it is going to shift outwards, it is going to reduce the relative price for primary products. But uh, least developed countries are the exporter of primary products. So what has happened is that because of this growth, PP by PM has fallen. So terms of trade have decreased in least developed countries or less developed countries. They have decreased in less developed countries. Right. And it was also expected that since they are producing these primary products only, which are the raw materials for the developed countries for their growth, these least developed countries, these less developed countries would not be able to catch up in technological progress as their developed counterparts. That was also there. But what was expected of the developed countries? It was expected of the developed countries that they'll be producing more of finished goods. Right. And they'll be importing more of raw materials. They'll be importing more primary products. So they will have an import biased growth. They will have an import bias growth. They want to produce more finished products. Why should they be dependent upon imports? If they can produce the cheap substitutes of the raw materials which they are importing, they'll use those cheap substitutes only. They do not have to depend upon the other countries for their growth. So they will start producing cheap substitutes. right, of primary goods. Mm -hmm. Then what happens? 
you have the relative demand curve which is same you have the relative supply curve and qp star is increasing so initially this is your relative price now the relative price is going to be this because of this increase in qp star because they are producing more of the primary products themselves again relative price has reduced it has reduced or pm by pp has increased so as far as developed countries are concerned terms of trade has have increased for developed countries because they are producing more of manufactured goods and for these least developed countries so these less developed countries terms of trade have decreased for ldcs so these less developed countries by having an export bias growth are experiencing the fall in terms of trade and developed countries when they follow in their import bias growth less developed countries experience fall in terms of trade so what happens is that terms of trade for least developed countries they fall a lot and it falls that much that all the direct benefits of the trade they completely get wiped out so it would have been better if they would not have grown at all but most of the times i mean it seems as if it is a theoretical possibility so it is not necessary that it's going to be like this only but there are conditions under which this is going to hold so what are few conditions under which this might hold please write conditions under which it holds one the shift in the relative supply curve to the right is a lot it has gone like really really to the right and which has reduced the the relative price very low right so when you have a strong export bias growth right so rs curve shifts right word by larger amount right or if you have a very steep inelastic relative demand curve so in case if you have a condition like this so you have the relative demand curve which is normally slow and you have the relative supply curve and in case if the relative supply curve it really shifts to the right then there is a possibility that yes terms of trade have gone like really low or the other thing could be you have a very very steep relative demand curve right then of course the fall in the terms of trade would be bigger than the case in case if you have the normal sloped relative demand curve so this is the normal sloped relative demand curve 
so in this case also in case if you have very steep or completely inelastic demand curve or in case if this had been inelastic so just think about it the more it becomes inelastic the more is going to be the fall in the terms of trade that's an idea out here that's an idea out here or steep or inelastic relative demand curve right so primary goods raw materials sometimes they have the inelastic demand right so that means that demand is not going to increase much as the supply is going to increase right it is going to lead to a fall in the terms of trade more so primary goods primary goods raw materials etc have inelastic demand have inelastic demand right and when these uh, these uh, less developed countries are going to be producing primary goods and these primary goods have a relatively inelastic demand then in that case if you are going to increase the supply the terms of trade are going to fall a lot so it is going to decrease the relative supply uh, relative price for the primary goods a lot right this is that demand does not increase much as supply increases leading to fall in relative price of primary goods uh huh so this is what is what is meant by immiserizing growth right this is what has been discussed in krugman this is an another good book also apart from krugman which is salvatore i mean you can use either of them so this is being used in delhi university a lot so uh, i'm using this book only right thank you beta this was immiserizing growth thank you